What's up guys? Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to jump higher on a trampoline. As you can see, I don't have an Olympic trampoline, so I'm limited to how high I can jump, just like everybody else. A uh, trampoline with a black mat that's not like super bouncy, it's called a garden trampoline, or a G-tramp, for everybody wondering what that means, if you follow me, and I've ever said that before. So, I did this on my channel a while ago, but it was kind of a dumb tutorial, like I didn't really know what I was talking about because back then I was still learning. Now I pretty much know everything about how to jump higher, so yeah. So the first way to jump higher in the trampoline is you could go buy a good trampoline. Behind me, I have a pretty good trampoline. This is from usatrampolines.com or something like that, Trampoline USA, maybe, I don't know. But uh, yeah, pretty good bounce. Let me show you a normal bounce. Alright, so as you can see, bounce on this one's pretty good, uh, but there's an even better one over here. Alright, now if you really want to get up in the sky, you'll probably have to buy a trampoline like this. This is called a Tramp Master Trampoline. If you watch my Q&A video, you know that I only got this for like 150 bucks. Even though it's got like a little hole in it because it's been used, still really good trampoline. So the first way to jump higher on a trampoline is buying a new trampoline, because look how high I can jump on it. And that's not even how high I can jump. In my Frequently Asked Questions video, I'm pretty sure I showed a clip of how high I can jump on here. So, here's the difference between a good trampoline and a bad trampoline. Alright, so it's pretty easy to tell, you know, trampoline does matter. So, if you're stuck with a trampoline like this, that is not very good, I mean, it's just kind of a low quality trampoline, pretty cheap, whatever. So if you're stuck with a trampoline like that, what you want to do, head over to your hose, turn it on, bring it to the trampoline, and spray all over it because if your trampoline's wet, that'll mean that more weight is being put down on the trampoline, so that's more weight to get thrown up. So you're gonna be thrown up like you're a lot heavier. If you guys have ever seen like really muscular people on a trampoline, they jump way higher. Here's a video of a really muscular guy jumping on a trampoline proving my point. So with the wet trampoline, you're going to have like all this weight and it's going to be throwing you back up. So that's why a lot of people use wet trampolines. The next thing, uh, you see a lot of the really, really, really good trampoliners do this, including myself. Unless the trampoline is really, really good, you're going to be throwing your arms up for maximum height. Because if you're just jumping without using your arms, sure you can jump high, but you're not going to be able to get to your max height. Because with your arms thrown up like that, like you're going into a backflip, if you throw them up like that, you're going to be getting so much higher. Watch this. Wet trampoline while throwing your arms, you're set. I don't have anybody to help me right now, but if you guys have a friend over and you want to get high, you can have them double bounce you. Since I don't have anybody here to demonstrate, I'm just going to show you a clip of what double bouncing looks like, and this is probably the best method to get you to the height you want to do your trick at. Next, if you have anything in your backyard higher than the height of your trampoline, just like three, four feet higher, if you have anything like that, jump off it onto your trampoline. The energy you use to start your bounce to get high on the trampoline, you could be getting half of it just from jumping off something like this, and then you're already like half your height and you haven't even used really any of your energy. So then you can use it to keep jumping higher and higher and then do your trick. If you guys watch my old videos, I used to jump off the ladder, that's how I landed my first double front, so yeah. Lastly, if you guys do not have a really good trampoline and you're not happy with your bounce, do this. This is called crossing your springs. All right, there's two different ways to do this. You can do it in a V to where this one goes to right here, and then this one goes to right here too, so it's like a V, which I don't really recommend that. I think this is better, even though you might end up with some springs looking like this. It's still bouncier this way, I think. If you do have a really, really bad trampoline, and it's like super, super tight, you might not want to cross it though, because either the mat can rip or the springs can break off. That happened to my old trampoline, so. If it wasn't so cold, I'd show you guys bouncing with a wet trampoline. I'll probably just put in a clip. Run. Those are pretty much all the ways to jump higher on a trampoline. So yeah, if this helped you, leave a like down below. Uh, I might have another video out tonight, I don't know, doing the Snapchat opening video in a little bit. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'm out.